All right, I want to point out some things that work in Jordan's uh, Pickles story that aired on uh, QC at 3 Friday. If you haven't seen it, uh, click on the link that I emailed out and watch the story first. And then uh, check this out. And we'll talk about the interesting, some of them are obvious, some of them are subtle, things that work in this package. All right, before we begin, let's have a look at the timeline. You can tell from this waveform that he uses channel one for all of his A roll, all the reporter track, all the sound bites. And then if you look at his channel two, he's got a rather robust gnat situation going on here, especially at the beginning. These are all his his natural sound and gnat pops. So that's good. He's He kept his uh, editing organized while he was putting this together, you can tell. All right, so let's watch it. Work comes naturally when you love what you do. All right, we're only seven seconds in, but there's so much I want to talk about here. First off, he starts with a nice establishing shot. We hear gnats. We don't know what that sound is yet, but we see the establishing shot at the house. Then we go a little bit tighter. We see the front door. He's got a little motion going on. Let's start it over. So super slow zoom in on the house. A little panning on the door. Work comes naturally when you love what you do. Then he reveals to us where the gnats are coming from. And he's got, uh, he's got a nicely written... Um, start uh report start for the reporter track to this story too when you love what you do so he doesn't just say this is carson and he makes pickles he you know he's starting with with a interesting subtle line to kind of pull you in and then we go right to the gnats of the pickles and we call this cutting on sound because we kind of hear the chopping like a half second before we see the chopping. And that really helps the flow and the pacing. So check this out. And you love what you do. I really enjoy making pickles. It's just, it's one of my favorite things. For a few. So here's something that might not be obvious. And in fact, might actually feel wrong to do. He he covers the first sound bite of the package. That could seem counterintuitive, but this really works because we got a shot of him. We got a, the sound bite is he loves what he does. We're seeing him do it. You don't have to, it's not a rule to show the person when you're introducing them with the first sound bite. Uh, that really works for him in this situation. I really enjoy making pickles. It's just, it's one of my favorite things. For a few hours a day and a couple days a week, Carson washes, chops, and creates the brine. That's Just notice how in his sequencing, he's not coupling together tight shots or wide shots. He's going wide to tight, wide to tight, wide to tight, different composition and different angles. I mean, for crying out loud, he's got... He's got tight shots of these jars. He's got a big wide shot of the kitchen. He's got kind of an overhead view of the sink, kind of like at an angle here. Super tight shot of the of the cucumbers, an overhead shot of the stove. So if you're watching this, you're 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 really pulled in to to the to the storytelling here that Jordan's putting together visually. The brine that soaks them. I taste um all of them. His bibs. I like the look here. He's got him uh, brightly lit. And it's uh, it's got he's got a little angle to the light you can tell because he's got a little bit of shadow going this way so which means the light is off to this side a little bit um, and then obviously he's got stage some pickles behind him these aren't lit as brightly as he is so he stands out a little bit more in the foreground it's a good look his business is a success and he has the awards to back it up who would have thought that a love for pickles would lead to this it all so these are photos by the mom. And instead of just popping them up there with the, uh, you know, the, the moving background that we have or doing like a quick zoom or whatever, just a real, sl real subtle, slow zoom in. Would lead to this. It all started in a classroom at South Iredell High School. The project that um, I had to create was called a supervised agriculture experience. And I just chose 
pickles. I didn't know that I even heard him correctly, I thought. I like this technique where we start on the sound bite, we cover the end. With the same shot, we cover the beginning of the next sound bite, and then we see the person. So really smooth transition and pacing from sort of the protagonist in the story to a secondary character, the, the mother. Let's watch it again and see how smooth this transition and, and flow of this is. Experience, and I just chose pickles. I didn't know that I even heard him correctly. I thought, pickles, did he just say pickles? I don't know how to make pickles, and he definitely doesn't know how to make pickles. Can we just pick something else? <laughs> Can you do something else with your life? Yep. I just love the juxtaposition that the son is so matter of fact, I'm just gonna make pickles, and then we cut to the mother, they they almost clash because the mother's like pickles. What I don't know anything. Why? What in the world? It's you know it's a great juxtaposition of these two characters. Jordan could have written Carson wanted to make pickles and then had the sound bite uh, from Carson and then say this is Carson's mom. She wasn't so sure about making the pickles because she'd never made them before. Instead, he takes the two sound bites clashes them together, the two opposing viewpoints, lets the mom have a sound bite, and then says, this is Carson's mom, and then introduces us to Carson's mom. Good storytelling technique. Emerald Lester is his mom and coworker. <laughs> yeah, volunteer, <laughs> unpaid. <laughs> you want paid? <laughs> yes, actually. Okay. <laughs> Just great writing, great use of sound. Just the marriage between the reporter track and what's written and the sound bites is just so good together. <laughs> he lives his life the only way he knows how. And writing wise, we go from conflict where I was gonna make pickles. Pickles, but you don't know how to make pickles. I don't know how to make pickles. Why are we doing that? To then they come together and they're making it work. Wow. By being positive and doesn't let life's challenges define who he is. Carson has autism and he has um, some other disabilities, anxiety disorder, he has a learning disorder, and so school and life is just a little tough in general. So not really a reveal to find out that Carson has autism. We kind of we kind of get that, I think, that there's that there's something like that going on. So it's not, you know, Jordan doesn't try to do this aha moment. It's kind of a subtle reveal. And as you can see, we're about two thirds into the package at the at this point that, you know, so structurally what we've got is Here's this guy making pickles. He doesn't have to say it, but we're catching on to the fact that he's a little slow or maybe autistic. There's some conflict that he wants to take on this task, doesn't know anything about, but he and his mom are making it work. So we have an introduction to what's going on here. Then we have how it started, the history, then how we're making it work. Now Jordan's telling us why this is special because he has autism and he's, you know, he's doing this thing and let's keep watching. Life he never thought could be came to be through determination. It can be tough. I, 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 I can handle it. Tasty Pickles by Carson has sold. In so yeah, now we're back to the present here in, in terms of the story arc and uh, he's telling us about that. I like the use of this photo and how he edits it in layout or let's watch it. Tasty Pickles by Carson has sold in over 32 states and two continents. So the mom emailed Jordan this photo or, or whatever, however Jordan got it. And instead of just showing the full wide photo on the screen, what does he do? He takes layout or starts at the bottom and kind of pans up that if this were a camera, it would be panning up to show him stacking all these pickles up, all these pickles that he's made. And Jordan's, te Jordan's telling us that he's selling them here, there, the other place. So the, the, the visual matches, you know, the sort of sales and this upward trajectory here for Carson, our, our character. We're 32 states and two continents known globally. Yeah, I have been um, noticed by a few students um, at school. Cherished locally. Carson wanted to make pickles. I didn't think he could, I really did not. I hoped before, but I know now. And shame on me for not having hope. For some, they may. So story arc wise, we found out it's all working out. He had doubters, including his own mother, but Carson proved her wrong. 
So we're coming to the conclusion part of the story here. They see a jar of pickles. For others, it could mean something more. I hope that, you know, some mother out there, you know, looks at her autistic child and said, you know, this, this is not going to define my child. In Troutman. So he ends on this optimist. He doesn't tell us what the future is because we don't know, but ends on this optimistic sentiment that I hope this is a lesson for all the other mothers and families out here that just because you have a child who's challenged doesn't mean that they're, you know, confined to this life of uh, mediocrity or whatever. Look at Carson. He's actually out there doing it. I'm Jordan Sawyers, QC at three. And then uh, sort of a football Friday night uh, tag out. Sig out. Uh, th this isn't in the Oasis version, of course, but on air, uh, as they come back out to the set, the the anchors and hosts describe how Ch Carson wants to do this. He wants to start a factory. He wants to do this in the future. It's good that Jordan didn't include that in the package because those are the sort of details that you don't want in a sentimental people package. Those are... Those are practical details that let the anchors or host handle that sort of stuff. If you're putting together a great package with real people and real emotion, don't get bogged down in stats or dates or any of these other things. Go ahead and let the anchors handle that in the, in the tag out. It's interesting, but this is the emotion, what we see here in this package. So save that for the anchors is, is my advice. And before we go, let's just have a look at, we cut back and forth to the mother and son here. I like the angle. So you know, it, it, it's not a real hard angle, but there's a little bit of angle here on this uh, interview. And it's about the same angle on the mother here. And something I never do is have someone sit on a couch because I can never get it to work. But it looks like Jordan's doing that. And he still manages to get some nice depth of field behind the mom here. So, you know, this sort of complementary angles between the mother and the son where they're at about the same angle uh, in terms of degrees, but just on opposite ends of the axis. So that really works there, too. All in all, a great package, great photography, great sound, great editing, great writing, great structure, great pacing. A plus Jordan. Keep up the good work.